Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Martin Yik uh, from the Department of Finance and Insurance. Uh, today I will present you another BBA program. Uh, actually, we have two BBA programs. Uh, first one is uh, presented by uh, Professor Yang. Okay? Uh, and uh, here I will present you another BBA program on risk and insurance management. Okay? Uh, I think uh, uh, the structure is similar to the current BBA program. Uh, students are required to finish the program in four years and totally 126 credits. And here you see that uh, uh, students in this BBA program is required to take 21 credits on risk and insurance management. That is totally seven courses, okay, here. Now, uh, after uh, this professional training, uh, we think uh, students are eligible to uh, to take any employment from the risk and insurance industry. And what I would like to tell you would be uh, the path to be a professional. Here, we have uh, we provide students with six uh, different uh, benefits in this program. Uh, uh, this is only for the risk management uh, program. Okay. Uh, so uh, other than the academic training, uh, we'll give you uh, job placement, internship, scholarship, uh, master study assistancy, uh, and you will get professional qualification. Uh, our students may get uh, one very important qualification once finish all the courses. And then uh, we'll give you the mentorship program. Uh, our mentors are directors. Uh, or CEO of some uh, finance and insurance companies. So uh, I think uh, uh, from their um, instructions, uh, from their experience, uh, we hope students could learn a great deal okay, from those mentors. So uh, today, uh, I just cover all these six areas to you. Huh? And first, uh, let's take a look at the uh, risk management in uh, an insurance industry. Uh, uh, we have one uh, chart here. Uh, this is a typical organization of an insurance company. What we know would be this part, okay? This part. Personal risk, uh, personal insurance marketing. You will think that uh, these are agencies. Yes, these are agencies, okay? But actually, in the insurance company, we do not only have those people. And our graduates will usually work on the upper part. That's all other departments instead of personal insurance marketing. And, uh, people usually contact the insurance agencies instead of other professionals in the insurance company. That's why uh, you think that an insurance company only has insurance agencies. Uh, actually, we'll have some other professionals in the insurance. And we, our aim is to train up our candidates to be professionals in all these departments. Some students would like to, uh, would like to work in the financial industry or the banking industry as well. Uh, we'll provide appropriate training on this part as well. So. Uh, up on the graduation, students can either enroll in the insurance industry or financial industry or banking. Yeah? Um, so the students may have uh, much flexibility yeah, on the job placements. And uh, this is the recent figure. Uh, the starting salary of our graduate is about 12,400. 90% of RM students work in either bank, insurance company, or financial institutions. The rest 10% may be for further studies, okay? Or they, will, uh, they may work in uh, other occupations. And then um, for the placements, uh, usually the insurance companies or some banks will give us the training program. Uh, so here we have the uh, insurance com uh, companies' positions. Uh, you see, uh, all these are training programs. Okay? For example, the, the appendix program of Zurich or the management training program of Zurich. Okay? 
Uh, sometimes uh, the insurance company would like to hire some trainees on particular departments. For example, Prudential Insurance would like to hire underwriting trainee. Okay, so uh, every year uh, it will go to our campus to hold a career talk, okay, to talk about the underwriting process and all the tasks related to this professional. <clears throat> and then uh, for the training, okay, uh, what kind of training will I give you? Um, this is a program focused on risk and insurance management. So uh, what you uh, will learn will be about, for example, actual real science, uh, liability insurance, reinsurance, or the international insurance and financial service markets. So after graduation, you think that uh, uh, you have enough academic knowledge on handling tasks in the risk management and insurance sectors, okay, in the financial institutions. <clears throat> I think you know the personal risks, okay, uh, life, health, okay, uh, or the, uh, related. But actually, uh, if we take a look at the companies or some other professionals, actually they are exposed to different kinds of risks. For example, uh, doctor, okay, uh, some patients, family members may sue the doctor. So the doctor may be at uh, reputation risk or at the legal risk. So normally, some doctors may buy liability risk insurance, okay, or liability insurance uh, to protect themselves. So this is a uh, kind of uh, risk that uh, uh, the doctors or some professionals may want to transfer to the insurance company. And you see uh, from this uh, slide uh, some other risks. Okay, for example, for banks, okay, uh, if you want to enter banks, then you must know credit risks or interest rate risks because banks have much lending activities. If you want to be a credit risk officer, for example, then you have to know, know much about those risks. If not in the interview, you think that's uh, the, the interviewer may think, okay, you are not eligible for this position. If you want to uh, work in an insurance company, for example, okay, you may handle different kind of risks. Um, many specific departments in the insurance company okay, are for some specific risks. So it really depends on the candidate's interest. For example, some candidates would like to work in the marine insurance or fire insurance or car insurance. Okay, that's motor insurance. So uh, for those uh, candidates, they will uh, sit more professional uh, qualification and knowledge in those companies after graduation. But before they graduate, uh, before they enter into the uh, different companies, they will get this qualification, okay? First, they will get an uh, Australian qualification, okay? We call it NSIF. Uh, this is our qualification for general insurance. Uh, one thing I can tell you that uh, uh, this qualification is important for fresh graduate because uh, if the company uh, would like to hire trainees, uh, candidates with this qualification usually have advantages. Some people, okay, after working in the industry for a few years, may pursue one more qualification. It is a British qualification uh, uh, offered by CII, okay, Chartered Insurance Institute. Our program already waived 75 credits at least, okay, for this ACII qualification. So uh, one day if the candidate or if the graduate would like to get this qualification for promotion uh, or for other professional, then uh, this person can get this advantage, okay? Uh, he may take less examinations, okay, on pursuing these qualifications. And finally, uh, Insurance Institute of Hong Kong give us exemption of two papers out of four papers. 
these professional qualifications uh, are expected to help candidates uh, to get a better career in the future. Uh, so uh, what, uh, what we expect is that this program could train up some young professionals for the industry. Uh, because uh, nowadays we see that uh, there is a shortage on the professionals in the uh, risk management and insurance industry. So uh, in order to uh, fill this gap, uh, we just try to uh, cooperate with the industry to train up more professionals. <clears throat> scholarships. This is one of the scholarship schemes exclusively for this program, okay? Only for the risk uh, and insurance management program. A uh, student major in this program with a GPA higher than three will be nominated for the scholarship, okay? Currently, uh, students will be awarded uh, in year two, okay? So if the students meet, the uh, meet these requirements, uh, they will be nominated to get a scholarship with an amount 20,000 in year two, 52,000 in year three and year four. So I think that uh, students with better, uh, with better academic results could get more scholarships for supporting their studies in the future. Uh, 52,600, this amount is enough to cover uh, tuition fee and the accommodation fee in the university, okay? Um, and this is the schedule, okay? Uh, this program starts in 2013. So uh, here, uh, we have run this program for two years, okay? For, uh, this scheme for two years. So uh, we hope uh, more students will get the scholarship in the future. And uh, from year 2015, we will have 10 awardees, up to 10 awardees. And 2016, up to 14 awardees, okay? So uh, you think that uh, our scholarship would like to uh, award it to more and more students. <clears throat> and this is, uh, uh, here are the awardees for the first year, okay, in uh, 2013. Here, uh, we have four awardees. Uh, if you want to meet uh, some of them uh, today uh, at the uh, LKK building, okay, ground floor F of LKK building, you can meet one of them. Uh. And if the, some students would like to pursue for master studies, okay, uh, this scholarship scheme also provide a scholarship for master program in Cast Business School, City University, London. So this, uh, uh, these candidates will uh, study a master program in London. Uh, so if the student's academic result is good and get the offer from the Cast Business School, this scholarship will cover the air ticket, tuition fee, and accommodation fee up to an amount 450,000 Hong Kong dollar. And uh, we plan to give two quota every year. So students uh, with good academic results uh, could study a master's degree abroad, okay? So there are, this is a very uh, good advantage of this program. And again, uh, this scholarship is exclusively for students in this program, okay? And I say, uh, this student, okay, uh, the, on the right hand side, okay, uh, of this photo, uh, uh, finished the study in the Cast University this year, okay. So, uh, she was the first student to uh, go and get the scholarship to study the master degree. And here is uh, here, uh, her comments, okay. Uh, and he, she just want to express the um, uh, she thanked the program, okay, the training and the scholarship, okay, uh, give her this opportunity to study abroad, okay, and uh, uh, this year uh, she finished the study and go back to Hong Kong uh, to pursue her career. 
other than the scholarship, okay, the first scholarship, actually we have some other scholarships to students. Okay? So uh, if the uh, students have good academic results, uh, she or he uh, may get more than one scholarship. So uh, some of the former or current students may get two or more scholarships. And other than the scholarship scheme, we have the mentorship program. Uh, we have very close uh, cooperations with the industry. So uh, our mentors are senior management of the insurance companies. So they will give guidance to the students uh, on the uh, uh, preparation of the career in the future. Uh, this is the second year for us to launch the mentorship program. So uh, currently, we have uh, eight mentors spending from different uh, companies. All of them are senior management. Okay, so uh, they want to share with the students uh, their experience. And uh, other than this uh, ceremony, we will also have some activities. Uh, such as a Christmas gathering or some sharing sections with the students. We hope that uh, other than the academic trainings, these professionals will give, uh, will share their experience and give their uh, comments uh, to the students so that they could know okay, uh, how to prepare well for the future. And uh, uh, we also think that uh, this mentorship program is good for the personal development. So uh, here are our, our mentors, okay? Uh, so from uh, Motor Insurers, uh, PwC, uh, this is an accounting firm, uh, AIA, uh, Aon, okay? Uh, this is an insurance brokerage. Uh, QBE, uh, if you buy travel insurance, you may go to QBE, okay? And uh, AL, AL is the insurance company that sponsor the scholarship. And here uh, you see uh, another photo uh, in a career talk given by our uh, uh, chairman of University Council, Rex Aoyer, okay, and uh, Mr. Jackie Chun, the general manager of Motor Insurance Bureau. So uh, uh, you see that uh, actually uh, our council members, even our council chairman, and uh, yeah, uh, insurance professionals are very supportive to our program. Uh, they give us career talks, uh, give students career talks, firm visits, and also uh, be our mentors. Experts and senior executives in the insurance sector will participate in the program as mentors. During the one-year mentoring period, RM students' mentees will be involved in a diverse range of professional development and career counseling activities. So uh, in 2014-15, there are 29 RIM students mentees. And this year, roughly, we have uh, 22 students. And what's more, okay, uh, many students would like to ask about exchange opportunities. Uh, many of my students, okay, uh, or some uh, RIM students, uh, will get the exchange opportunities. So uh, I say that uh, it seems uh, exchange is one essential parts okay, of university life. So uh, uh, our school give many exchange opportunities to students. Uh, and we will also arrange many career talks, guest talks, uh, guest lectures, and company visits, as well as the internship opportunities to our RIM students. Okay, so uh, I think uh, that's for my presentation section today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I will be here okay, uh, today so you can uh, discuss with me okay, uh, about uh, your case, okay, or you, you want to know more about our program. Uh, in the ground floor of LKK building, you can also meet our major students. Okay? Uh, if you want to know more about uh, our program structure, you can also visit the website. Okay, uh, so uh, thank you very much, and uh, uh, I hope uh, you have a, a good day. Okay, in uh, mainland today. Okay, thank you. Come on, uh, uh, 
誒、呃，如果有咩問題咧，我都會喺度嘅。咁誒、呃，我啲學生都喺度嘅。咁所以如果你誒、呃、關於誒呢、呃这個課程嘅結構啊、scholarship 啊或者係 mentorship 嘅話咧，你哋都係可以繼續留喺度問嘅。